Hi peeps! So I thought I would um, give you a peek into my um, art journals. Um, I'm still a newbie. I'm still learning. I'm still discovering my style and still learning how to use different things. So I just thought I'd give you a peek into my journey. I think I started like, you know, I dabbled in it last year and then I, I was like really heavy into just trying it and then I kind of slacked off and so now I'm back um I do you know things happen in waves with me I get really excited about something and then I do excessively and then I go back to something else and then I come back so I go back and forth so um I'm gonna just show you briefly a couple of pages in each journal and show you the new journal that I put together um two days ago I think it was so yeah so this is the very first one. It's a sketchbook I got from my dollar store and I just kind of gessoed the pages to make them a little heavy. Um, so this was one of my, I guess one of my first pages I did. I'm not sure. Um, I should have, I started, I just started dating them um, so I can see <laughs> my progress, but I didn't date them. Um, I used a magazine clipping um, to do this little silhouette. This is, um, I learned this from Terry Sproul, I think that's how you say her name. Um, and so, a lot of the pages, um, what happened was, I'll just, I'm going to skip through because a lot of them are just backgrounds that I just did. Um, this one I really like. Um, I don't know why, but I, <laughs> I don't know why, I just really like it. I just love it so it's pretty and colorful so it makes me happy um, and then this one I just kind of um, did a background and just wrote over it um, yeah I didn't do much in this one because um, the binding you know it's cheap so the binding is plastic and the um all the mediums like they get stuck and so it's hard to turn the paper that's why i like to take my pages out work on it and then put it back in a you know in a book because um the bind i'm so messy <laughs> that the binding suffers so um here was an i don't know which you know i got this mixed media one which i like but again i'm messy so the binding suffers so um, I realized that um, spirals don't really work for me. Um, so this is just a background I did with a huge stamp. And I just, I think I was excited about my gelatos. So I was just using my gelatos. Yeah, this is when I got my gelatos. I was just using my gelatos. And just, um, just playing. This one, I really like this page. Um... I'm always inspired by song lyrics. Um, so this is the Cindy Lauper's song, True Colors. It says, your true colors are beautiful like a rainbow. So I really like that page. Um, what I did learn was that, um, you know, your pages stick together when you use Mod Podge <laughs> to adhere. Um, as you'll see in the next one. And that's when I used the Tim Holtz Umbrella Man. I don't know if that's what he's called. That's just what I call him. I just love him. And I just thought, um, any way I can use him, I'm going to use him. Um, so, yeah, this one. Some people feel the rain. Others just get wet. I like this page, too. I like it. Again, me playing with gelatos. And I just did this background. Now, this is when I learned about the Mod Podge because it tore my house. And I actually really like this page except for the fact that I didn't plan out my how I was going to write <laughs> my quote. So it kind of went down and I didn't really want it. I wanted it to all go across. But, you know, you learn. You live and you learn. So I have to plan out my quotes a little better. But um, for the most part, I like the houses and I definitely want to do another um another one with the houses and I, I got I think I was watching Christy 
Tomlinson. Oh, I probably messed up her name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I think I was watching her video and I had got inspired by the houses. So I, I think I'm going to do another one in my new journal. Um, this, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was just having fun. I think I was watching another Christy video when I was doing this one. I can't draw to save my life, but I think it's a cute little page. I think it's kind of cute. It makes me happy. And this one I used my, this. I think this is when I first got my my uh, Prima Doll stamps. Embrace your inner diva. Um, this page I absolutely love. Um, I just love how pretty and colorful it is. Um, I use, I know I use real doilies because I don't have a doily stencil. So I use real doilies in this one. And the snowflakes, I used a wooden snowflake piece I got from Michaels. And I, spr I put it on top and I sprayed over it. And I was just like, oh my god, look at that. And then I just used some stamps, some snowflake stamps. I really love this page. And book pages, of course. Cause I, I love book pages and everything. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's, these are just background pages. So, this one, um, I took, this is my, the one I showed you guys my process making. I have not done anything in this one in forever, but I took out, I love this journal. I think it's, I just love it, but I haven't done anything much in it. I just took out a couple of pages because I was filming it before and I, the pages, um, I took out a different journal and I put them in here. So they're like back and forth. They are all different angles. So I was moving the camera too much. Um, so I think this is probably one of my very first pages, um, Fall is my favorite season, and so I, I guess I was feeling feeling the fall. And I used some tissue paper and just a bunch of paint, and I just had a lot of fun with this with this one. Um, this one again with the silhouettes, I really like that um, the whole silhouette thing. And I like I like this page. I like how that came out. Really like that, and I love that quote. If you can't read it, it says every man needs a woman when his life is a mess because just like in the game of chess, the queen protects the king. So I really like that. And this one is a two page. It goes like this. Again, me with the silhouettes. <laughs> um, so it says God sometimes takes us into troubled waters not to drown us but to cleanse us. So that was my interpretation, I guess, of that that quote. So that was that. And then I had joined the Journal 52. Um, we, she gives prompts. It's a free workshop. Um, they just started the new, um, this, this year's. Um, every week she gives a prompt. And it was going good for me, but then I don't know. Something about prompts that sometimes don't work for me. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, I'll share with you the few that I did. This prompt was um, up, up, and away. And I just thought about, I don't know. I was um, Mariah Carey's song, Fly Like a Bird. Again, music always, I don't know. I love music. It's very therapeutic for me. So um, I just wrote um, the lyrics for that one. And I used a... I don't know, I had this bird, I think it was a sticker, and I just traced it in on music paper. And then this prompt was somewhere, a simple place, and um, my place is in prayer, and, you know, that gives me peace. Um, it's a place in my mind, I guess, is where I was going with this, and uh, all the things that I think about or pray about or funny looking <laughs> but it's cute it's cute I can't draw so this is um, who make you who makes me smile oh you make me smile sorry you make me smile so I just hand drew this flower and in each like petal or whatever I wrote things that make me smile people places and things that make me smile so that's what 
that's in there. And I actually like this page too. Um, this one is probably my favorite of all. And this one is called Building Character. I think this was probably my last one that I did. Um, and this is my son. There we go. Let's see. There. And what I did was I used a paper. Oh, it's not going to stay up for me. <laughs> anyway, it's not going to stay up for me, but the le the these are um bricks from a paper collection and I just wrote all the words that I think um represents him. He's loyal, loving, he has integrity, he's respectful, compassionate, blah blah blah. And then on the tag I wrote this quote that I thought totally represents my son. Um, by Martin Luther King and it says never be afraid to do what's right especially if the well-being of a person or an animal is at stake society's punishments are small compared to the wounds we inflict on our soul when we look the other way sorry I had to read that <laughs> um I can't read it through the camera and then that's just a picture of my son and I really love this page I really really do uh, yeah, that was it. That was the last one I did for that. So I didn't join this um, this one, um, but maybe one day I'll go back to the prompt. So I didn't want to um, do anything else but that in this because that's what I named it. I named it Journal Fifty Two. But I wanted to do an I wanted another journal that I could take the papers out, um, and I wanted another denim one. So I made one the other day. I love it. I love it. Love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. So here's my new journal that I made the other day. And I just used um, some Prima stamps that I got. Oh, let me see if I can grab them real quick. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, these that I got when um, I went to California at the Prima Warehouse. So I love them. I love them. Um, they're very artsy. And so I used them on the cover with some, I think, white paint, I think I used. And I used some of my um, my new favorite um, silks acrylic glaze. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, so I used some of that and just some paint splatter and some letter stickers that I painted with some watercolors. And use my old jeans. I use my old jeans a lot. Um, I think I've showed you guys all the things I've used. Um, what I did was I wanted a dangly, but I didn't want to have to take off my stuff. So I just put it on another ring, a smaller ring. Um, and I just put a bunch of fiber and some strips of denim that was left over. And... Some beads. Some of these beads are from a bracelet that my son made me when he was little. Um, some charms and stuff. I got a broken earring here. I love these earrings that they broke on me. They were cheap. So um, I'll just show you quickly and see. I used the pockets. Yeah, my butt is really that big. <laughs> anyway, the pockets um, to put like you know some to make some tags or whatever. This is my very first page. Of course, it would be about coffee. And I just used my Prima, um, not Prima. Oh my God. My coffee stamps. Got Prima on the brain. Coffee stamps um, and my coffee stencils um, to make this page. And I like how it came out. And then um, the next page isn't finished, so I can't show you that page. But um, I just added some different, you know, some papers. And I added this envelope just so I can put some book pages and stuff like if I in music sheets. If I like sometimes I like to go to sit in Panera Bread so I thought I might want to take my art journal with me. So I wanted to have some things in there. So yeah, I really, really like it. Um, there's the back. I just did a little stamp on the back. Okay, so really quick, I picked up this um, bag. Oh, that's my my little list of stuff that I want to pick up from the art store. 
Um, I found this cosmetic bag at my discount store for $4.99. So I thought, oh my God, I have to get it. Even though I already have a bag for my planner. I have a bag for my Smashbook. I have a bag for everything. I don't know. Something about having things in a bag. Just, I don't know. It makes me happy. But I found I me mean, it was $5. And it's actually bigger than my planner bag. It's longer, rather. Let me show you. See, it's longer. It's a little bit longer than my planner bag. But um, my planner fits in here. I put my planner here. And then I have um, a bunch of stuff. Colored pencils and paint brushes and baby wipes and um, stuff like that in there. And what I did was I put a little bit of gesso in these little traveling um, containers. So in case I need some gesso, I'll put it in here. And then, um, oops, sorry. Try not to cover it. And then I have my little water bottle, spray bottle, in case I'm going someplace, I'll put that in my bag. And um, I have a bunch of these little empty things. If whatever I need, if I need to take it with me, I can just put it in these little bottles and take it with me. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. I will be doing a lot of crafting today. Different types of crafts. Art journaling. I got to do my planner today. Smash book. Because we're going to get snowed in here in New York. So I thought this is the best time. I'm going to deep condition and hot oil treatment my hair. And, and I'm just going to be in here. Just creating a way. And making my hair nice and moisturized and soft. And that's pretty much it so i hope you guys have a great day thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye